First alert weather. Okay, here we go with a moderate air quality day today. So the smoke that we have seen in recent days uh, will escape us today. That's the good news. And around here, things are going to be nice as we start the morning. Sun rises this morning coming up here in about 10 minutes. We'll get to about 48 by 8 o'clock. And lunchtime today will be at 62. It'll be 72 at 4 o'clock this afternoon as we take the temperatures down again tonight into the 40s and 50s, but not as cold as it was. Yeah, that's the good news because we we saw some really chilly temperatures uh, overnight tonight over uh, rather last night. And if you're just getting your day started here, there are some traffic pattern changes with schools starting. This is right there at Science Center Drive along US 20 uh, and you get to make the choice, but you're going to have to combine down to one lane. So just know that there'll be a shift there and look out for the uh, extended exit uh, and be careful of you know parents and kids. Look at this beautiful picture of the Teton Pass valley and that right down into there man that is jackson hole and it's just you're above the clouds you're at 83 8400 feet where yes they had some snow it's still i believe it's still on the ground there from yesterday afternoon just a beautiful sunrise we're covered with clouds into salmon this morning but those are going to burn off and things are going to be really nice for us as we get into the afternoon hours today it will be sunny windy and warmer in fact, tomorrow we're going to be back into the 80s around here. So the, the forecast has us at 71 in Rexburg for later on today, 72 in Idaho Falls, 72 in Jackson, 81 in Chalice. It'll be in the mid to upper 70s from Ledor all the way swinging around to Stanley. But that frosty morning will continue. This frost advisory will expire about 9 o'clock this morning. We'll get these temps into the 70s. And overnight tonight, we're back into the 40s. There's a 30 on the map for Jackson and Soda Springs, but about 39 in Ledor. It'll be in the mid to upper 40s from Arco to Mackey and on into salmon. A little chillier into the parks there, 37 at Island Park, but 46 in Blackfoot overnight. The extended forecast is what I am most excited about, and that's coming your way here in about 20 seconds. So winds this afternoon into the teens, they'll calm down uh, overnight tonight, and we'll wake up to a beautiful start to tomorrow with some sunshine, and we'll uh, speed the winds back up in here. So we get a bit of a breeze, we'll get temperatures back into the 80s tomorrow, and we'll count down to a great looking weekend. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast. A windy day today and bucket loads of sunshine, 72 and then 85. We don't think we're going to have a problem with haze today. That's the great news. Thursday, 86 and then 87 for Friday. We're at 90 degrees to kick off the Labor Day weekend, and it'll be right there back into the mid 80s, which is normal for this time of year, about 81, 82 degrees for Sunday and on into Monday with just a slight chance of a meandering shower. 74 for Tuesday in Pocatello. It'll be 87 and the sun just keeps on coming. Just almost nine in a row. 89 on Thursday, 91 for Friday, 95 for Saturday, and then we'll cool off just a little bit for Sunday. It'll be about 83 degrees for Monday, which is totally normal for this time of the year. So some winds around today in Blackfoot. It'll be 72, mid to upper 80s, and finally 92 for Saturday. And in Rexburg, look at that sunrise. 71 to 84 tomorrow, and then back toward 90 degrees by Saturday. Labor Day weekend looks sweet. It'll cool down as we head toward Monday and salmon as well, but we'll have 79 this afternoon and lots of sun. It'll be in the mid to upper 80s to around 90 by Friday and Saturday. And in Jackson, you've got a good looking forecast as well. 72, about 78 to 79 degrees uh, tomorrow and into Thursday. We'll get you back into the mid to upper 80s by Friday, Saturday, and you'll cool off to around normal around 76 for Labor Day, Monday. Take the day off. You deserve it. Listen, the kids are leaving to go to school. Have you snooped around in there? What's the most, what did you find? Did you find a half-eaten Tootsie Roll? What was in there? Did you find some Pringles chips from 1989 under the bed? Yeah, what's in your kid's room? Send me a picture of their tornadic uh, activity as well. Jeff.roper at localnews8.com or call us on the Hollaback line at 534-9957. 534-9957. Give us a Hollaback at 534-9957. Here's Dylan.